Hey everyone. So I've been hearing lately about how the millennials are the worst generation ever. Um, especially millennial, millennial men. I've heard a lot lately about how we're awful and we don't add anything to society and we need to get our shit together. And I agree to, to some extent that millennials are, are, are not the best. We, I, I don't like most of my generation. I think a lot of them are, um, little narcissistic, uh, little spoiled, you know, they, we, we riot over, not riot, but, uh, it's a word. we protest a lot of stuff and, uh, we, we do ask for some handouts and we're, we're trying to change things, I think, to a, a, a worse system. I don't think we quite understand how everything works, which is one thing, but if we're the worst generation ever, and I hear this a lot from older generations, especially the baby boomers and Gen, Gen X, the, the ones right in front of millennials, is how awful we are and how selfish and spoiled and all that kind of stuff we are, which is true to some extent, but... If we are the worst generation ever, if we are the most spoiled, narcissistic, just entitled, that's a generation of entitlement, entitled generation ever, that means that the baby boomers and the Gen Xers, the ones that raised us, are literally the worst parents to ever exist. Because people don't just develop a worldview. It, it, it comes from your parents, it comes from your family, it comes from your friends, it comes from your teachers. All those kinds of things. So if we are in fact the worst generation of all time, that means that Gen X and Baby Boomers are the worst parents and the worst teachers ever. Which means you failed us. We didn't fail you. Yet, at least. Um, I'm still in my, I'm in my mid-twenties, so I still have time to develop and, and become what I'm going to become and all those kinds of things. I still have time to grow. I'm only 24. But... There are some in the millennial generation that are, that are a little bit older, and some are a little younger. It's kind of a wide, wide generation gap. But I saw a post the other day talking about how um, he felt bad for millennial women because they have slim pickings. And here's the thing: millennial women aren't that good either. You know, they're not. Millennial men are not. If millennial men are not that good, millennial women aren't that good. Because here's the thing. You gave in, as Gen Xers and Baby Boomers, you gave in to every feminist ideology and built up your young women. From the beginning, since they've been in school, all they've heard is how great they are. Which they are. They're fantastic. But what you forgot to do was also build up your boys. And now you, you're you seeing the fruit of that labor. You're seeing young men who don't know how to be men because you failed us. Because Gen Xers and Baby Boomers were so into themselves and into their own shit they forgot how to raise men so to my baby boomer men and my gen x men you are literally the worst generation of men if you're saying that millennials are the worst generation ever my my baby boomer women and gen x women you are the worst mothers ever if you're saying that millennials are the worst generation uh, ever one generation is simply raised by other generations. So it's, it's, we're just, we're just a shadow of what you believed. And what it was, was you did entitle us. That is true. What we've done is we've, we've criminalized anything that's masculine. And what has happened is, You've taken competition out of sports. Like, you can't even keep score anymore. My nephew is eight, and he's been playing basketball for a couple years now. And they haven't kept score one. They keep score, like, at the end of the year. It's, like, the last game they keep score for fun. I was playing competitive basketball at five. I was playing competitive baseball at five. You know, we kept score my entire life. Um... But a lot of millennials didn't grow up that way. It is that participation trophy thing. But the participation trophy is not on the millennials. It's on the, the Gen Xers and baby boomers who did it to us. It's it's. I know this sounds like another another millennial blaming all of our problems on them, you know, not taking responsibility, but that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to say is it's your fault. It, now, we do need to grow up and we need to get our shit together. But 
we're fighting from a stance of zero. We don't know how to do that. Your parents taught you how to do that. My grandpa taught my dad how to do that. My dad taught my older brother. My dad and my older brother taught me. So I, I was raised a little differently than most millennials. Most millennials didn't have that. They, they didn't have people teaching them how to be an adult. And so they've done it by themselves. So the only thing that we know how to do is go to college. Well, now we have crippling student debt. And there's no jobs. Because baby boomers can't retire. Because they ruined, because they crushed the economic system. So now it costs way too much to retire. Baby boomers can't retire. There's no jobs out there. So no wonder the millennials aren't working. Millennials, it is our responsibility to grow up and fix things and change things, and we're going to eventually. But it's also partly your fault. It really is, and I know this sounds bad, but if we're the worst generation ever, it means the generations before us were the worst parents and teachers ever because they didn't teach us how to do it. All they've ever said to us is, well, the real world's tough out there. Then teach us how to live in the real world. You know, my grandpa got my dad a job at 16. He just didn't even give him a choice. He just got him a job because he was like, look, the real world is tough. Here's how you, here's how you do it. And my dad did that to my brother and my dad did that to me. But a lot of millennials didn't have that upbringing. They, they wanted to give their children a different life, a better life. And they succeeded in that. But in succeeding in that, they forgot to pass on certain values. And so if we really are the most entitled generation, which, by the way, we're not the worst generation ever, that's stupid. Every gener- every older generation thinks the newest, youngest generation is the dumbest generation or worst generation ever. You look back at kind of the narcissism of, of some of the older generations, and it's mind-boggling. I mean, there's a generation out there that calls them, literally calls themselves the greatest generation ever. And they fought the Nazis. They went through the Great Depression. So they are a fantastic generation. They they were, they could do anything. Men, the men in that age could do anything. They could, you know, they were, they could build anything and do anything and all that kind of stuff. And that didn't get passed down. So where did that where did that line break? Where did that ha- break happen? It it's not like the millennials just. It's not like you know at twenty two we all just woke up and we're like hey. I'm not doing anything you guys owe me. No, we were taught that. That's a, these are learned experiences and these are learned experiences from parents and teachers. So you want to get rid of our participation trophy generation and our entitled generation. Quit raising people like that. Quit teaching them at a young age. Quit telling every girl that she's perfect and a princess and every boy that he can't do anything wrong. Quit Quit not building up your boys. Quit continue to build up your young girls. It's fantastic. You know, tell them they're special. Tell them they're brilliant. Tell them they go to school and do anything. That's awesome. That's what they should be taught. But also teach your boys that. Remind boys how important an education is. Men aren't going to college nowadays because they weren't taught how important an education was or that it didn't matter. Even if you did get it, there wasn't a job out there. Let them know how important trade schools are or colleges or how important their grades are. Just being educated is. We've forgotten to pass that down. And then what we did was we blamed it on the generation we didn't pass it down to. You look at older generations and and it was the hippies who were going to change the world. Every generation was going to change the world, including what the millennials believe now. But at some point you got to grow up and realize the world's a difficult place to live in. But if you don't want these entitled generations, quit raising entitled people. It's very simple. Quit allowing... There was a story. Here, here's the thing. Here's a story that I use as an example. I was at a minor league baseball game. And I was sitting in front of a young boy. He was probably... He was probably 10. Cotton candy guy walked by. And he started screaming for cotton candy. He was like screaming to his dad. Like, let's get cotton candy. Let's get cotton candy. The dad's like, sure, we'll get some, you know, and the cotton candy guy left and the dad didn't buy any. And he started just screaming and sobbing and just losing his mind. And it was like a couple minutes of it. And a couple minutes later, the dad's like, we'll get something. And then the dad gets up and leaves, comes back and he's got ice cream and cotton candy and all all this shit. And I remember turning to the person that I was with and going, my parents would not have put up with that shit. 
my my dad, if I yelled at my dad for cotton candy, like, we would have had some serious conversations, especially at 10. My parents didn't put up with shit like that. You went out in public, you acted right. Or you were getting, well, like, I got spanked once my entire life because I realized I don't want to get spanked anymore. But you went out in public, you acted right. And we've now taught the kids that they're in charge. And and parents are so worried about damaging their children, they forget to punish them. There should be, there, there should be punishment for your actions. If you do something wrong, you should, you should get punishment, more than just grounded in a talking to. I mean, sometimes spanking is the right way. So this is one of the things that bugs me: is as a millennial male, I get grouped and lumped into a certain group of people. But I come back with, if we're the worst group of men ever then that means the men in front of us failed us. They forgot to teach us how to be men. And if we're the worst generation ever, the generations in front of us have failed us as parents because they forgot how to teach us how to be adults. And I I don't mean to bag on on the Gen Xers and and baby boomers. They're just the ones before us. But it drives me crazy because it's like, you have to teach us how to do that. You can't just expect us to know stuff, you know, like there's this expectation that you just know how to live. And I think that they've forgotten that they didn't, will just come out of high school or college with that knowledge. They were taught by their parents and their teachers. So there's been a mindset shift and I I would like to see it shift back. Um, I do agree that we're not a great generation. I, I don't agree with a lot of the things my generation stands for and is fighting for. But we're not the worst ever, and if we are, it's not our all our fault. It's, some of it is on us, yes, but some of it's not. And that's where I see the hypocrisy in this argument. Let me know. I know it's a long video, and if you sat through the whole thing, if you actually watched and sat through the whole thing, thank you. Uh, you know, like, share, and su- subscribe. Um, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I like having these conversations, so I, I hope you actually comment.